I'm Spiro Rosados, and I'm an action director for movies like uh, Captain America and Fast and Furious. I'm here at my house in Stevenson Ranch. That's a 5,000 square foot house. It's got a great view, great neighborhood. When I first came here, it was, I think, 3,000 square feet. Now it's 5,000 square feet. And I also am going to build some more on it. I'll introduce you to my game room, where I like to come when I'm done blowing things up. I like to let off steam in a different way. So the game room is located on the lower level of the house. It has just about everything you can imagine. It has 16 Xbox 360s with 16 individual televisions. It has shuffleboard, pool, poker, air hockey, fast and furious racing games, darts, you name it, it has it. And I just wanted to stuff as much as I could in this room so that I don't ever have to leave here if I don't have to. <laughs> Years ago, we were working on location. That all we would do is we'd work all day and go home at night at the hotel. We would play Xbox every night. We'd have room service and ice cream and that's all we did. And after the show was over, I was saying to myself, this is one of the best times I've ever had in my life. I go, but it doesn't have to end. So I ended up calling my guy, my theater guy, and I said, listen, can you please duplicate that but make it bigger? And when I started adding everything in, the pool table, this, the this, the shuffleboard, it turned out that I had to use every legal square inch that I could because I wanted it to be like Disneyland, you know? I just wanted it to be the more games, the better. On this side, it's more of a high-end man cave. And then on this side, obviously, it's for the younger kids can play, so it's kind of a nice thing. So they could be here having their thing. We could be here, obviously, intermixing. You know, we intermix and all that, which is fun too. But uh, so there's a lot of reasons why this is set up this way. The designer did a great job making it feel classy. This starts to get classier with the wood, and then you get into the nice woods here the nice wood here, the nice wood here. So that was part of the plan and I thought that she did a great job. We have uh, 16 Xbox 360s all over the place. We have four televisions here. And over here we have the other four televisions. This is my seat, everybody knows this. For some reason I just kind of like it, I can see what's going on. I hate to admit this, but I do have something that uh, I get teased about. Because I get so into it and I'm yelling at people that don't do the right things when we're playing, this seat sometimes stays vacant. We have, as you see underneath here, we have all the connections for the internet and for, for the system link. Also we have behind here, we have all the games. This slides out. We have all the games in here. We have games all over the place. Even though we only play Call of Duty 2, I want to make sure anybody else, the kids that want to play something else, it's available to them. I love this room a lot, but it's not only just for gaming. Uh, I'm an action director, as I said, for The Fate of the Furious and all the fast movies. And the big action sequences that you saw in this movie, well, they started right here on this pool table. I invited all the stunt drivers and the stunt women and everybody that's uh, involved with me and has been my team forever. And we came together, we had our little toy cars and we all just started talking about ideas. I told them, listen, we're gonna be on a real frozen lake in Iceland shooting a big sequence for a month. Let's come up with some fun, badass stuff. And so everybody started throwing ideas, you know, no matter what they were. Everything started right here at this table. So after I did this, I ended up having to come over here and building eight more televisions so that I can fit this so we can all play. The problem is I didn't want this to look like a game room. So if you could see these cabinets built to look like China cabinets with dishes and plates, but as you can see, you have all your Xboxes in here. These things pop up quickly and you can put all your televisions in here. All the remotes and stuff, as you can see, are in here. It, uh, so now we can play in here. My electric bill, is easily could be up to you know fifteen hundred sixteen hundred dollars a month when the guys you know pitch in and buy chips and all that it helps <laughs> i put more money in the game room in my home theater than i have buying this whole house and i don't regret one penny of it because 
the love I have, the fun that we have is worth all the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars that I put into this game room.